Hi everybody, my name is Martin, welcome back to Master of Orion, Early Access 3, in this uh, second episode where we will try and make better deals with aliens. That's my, uh, that's my strategy for this particular video. Don't be an idiot. Now I'm seeing from the star charts that I purchased uh, rather expensively that we do have a warp point here, which leads me to believe that there is a warp point here leading into my um, my territory. So settling down here won't actually block anything off from the clack guns, especially not since they are starting in this these three planets. They already claimed them, so. I'm thinking uh, about sending my scout ship up this way instead of down so that we can just um, make sure that these two planets are um, relevant for colonization potentially and log off the clack on that way and if we go up that way with one scout I suppose we'll go northeast with the other one now how about my frigates yeah, it just got here, so we can't catch that pirate just yet. Oh, he's coming to us. Okay, that's nice, actually. Uh, we will take command of that battle. And am I right in assuming that these are the same pirates we fought before? Yeah, just the smog of the blaster stuff. That's fine. Let's just uh, maximize our range here. They have some short-range stuff that there's no sense in uh, exposing ourselves to. So we'll try to keep that range. They can only engage us with their long-range smog with blasters. Take some hits there. Hide in the cover of the asteroid, kind of. Shoot a little bit. Oh. Nice cover. Let's see if we can hit the asteroid. Excellent. So now let's actually blow up the asteroid. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, he has fired, so let's turn around and shoot him. Here we go. I don't see a lot of new um, player interactions, I mean things that I can do in tactical combat in this version of the early access. Uh, maybe it's because I haven't researched anything that gives me that kind of um, opportunity, but I don't really know. So uh, we have settled the pirates. I guess the pirate base is down here, so let's go and have a look. And yes, we have some... Um, electromagnetic disturbance down there yes definitely get the shields I think this is new this is also something that they wrote in the um, in the uh, release notes that they have more text with an either or choice in terms of what technology you want out of that research and I like that because it's giving you that that choice that you have to make all the time where you are um, where you are uh, choosing one thing over another and that's always interesting then you also have something to trade with later on so let's get the shields which i really really like and we're not going to be upgrading it because i don't trust it so here the question becomes one of um appeasing the neutral planet or get some destroyers quickly now i don't see a need for rushing weaponry right now. We have the Klagon to our southwest and we have the Cylons to the east. But none of those have been aggressive so far. It's early days, obviously. We might go see new relations to try and establish... Um, ooh, yeah. Yeah, we might go see new relations. We could get embassies and also, we could build a spy center and see what we can find out uh, about this new feature. I kind of like that, because I want to know what it's like. Let's go for government then. And you have grown. Good. So that means you have two turns remaining. 
uh, on the hydroponic farm. We will have to pay close attention uh, at that point. And let's see here, one turn remaining there. After that, I think honestly we're going to build another colony ship because we want to spread out quickly. Depending on whether or not the hydroponic farm gives us a significant advantage. That's a regular scout, so no problem with that. I haven't seen any colony ships. I say that. No, that's just a an actual colony from the silence. Uh, and yes, just a second. Let's consider where we send that. Now, the hydroponic farm will be uh, finished next turn. So this will go up to plus three. Now it's 11 turns. Next time it will be 10 turns unless something happens. This changes nothing. So 11 turns now, 10 turns next time. And then we'll see what the hydroponic farm does for us. I'm going to send the colony ship this way, either up or down, it depends. So there's my hydroponic farm. So it does nothing. The hydroponic farm does nothing for us. Okay, so we don't want to waste time on hydroponic farms. We could build a biosphere for the research, but it's only half as good as it would be. So yeah, I'm not seeing the, um, the upside to doing that. We might want to get a marine barracks in in the early game here. Um, star base is also nice, which means the marine barracks may be bumped down when we get a little bit more into it, because we may research something like research laboratory would be very nice to get. And you have done your military outpost. That's always nice. So why don't you come up here? And you have grown too, which is nice because you you just finished a colony ship. So you're growing again in nine turns, which corresponds exactly to the completion of the next colony ship. So that's super. And you don't want to do a hydroponic farm. Well, uh, structures on planets are actually a one of the many factors involved in the. Um, in the economic victory. It has to do with the uh, the total gross planetary, gross galactic production, GDP, I think they called it, which is, um, among other things, population and structures on your planet in, um, in addition to your actual income. So many factors involved in that particular victory condition. Why the hell did I go there? Uh, that was not my intention at all. Oh well. Do, 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 do. Government research, good. And senior relations, yes, good. So let's actually forget about that, I think, and put in the research laboratory instead. This will actually give us security plus five now, and not just the morale, even though the morale is nice. But let's do a research laboratory, and let's also queue up one of those in um, our home system here. Okay, our frigate is down here. Let's say hello to the pirates. Hello pirates, we can do nothing. We have no bombs. Ooh. Such a nice system. Ultra rich with artifacts. Is that an independent planet, I wonder? I haven't been seeing any pirates from here, so it probably is. Abundant gold. This is a very poor planet. It's 
So now I really want to know if we have, yes, we do have a warp point here. All right. So this is decision time for the colony ship. I love these two planets. They are ultra rich and rich. So I need to secure those. And if I want them, then I probably want to secure this system too. So that would mean Virus 2. And depending on what kind of planets we see up here, then this might be a better choice because it has the uh, asteroid belt which can also be exploited. But we do have another colony ship on the way. So why don't we, seeing as the Plagons only have those two systems, Well, they're probably going... No, they have three systems. They also have that one. They're probably going to go one system at a time. So they'll need to go one, two to come here. And they'll need to go one, two to come there. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll go for the devil I know. And grab this planet first. And then send the next colony ship right in here. And then, depending on what we find here... We may change those plans or queue up another colony ship um, to just really get our colonization going as quickly as possible. Uh, that was an um, IP, right? So we couldn't settle there anyway. We may want this one just to grab the system. I don't know how the, uh, the independent empires coexist with you. Okay, so there's a pirate base there, and maybe, maybe we can get into uh, our space here this way, although I don't see a warp point. Yeah, I still don't. Could be one anyway. We have terrible sensors at this early point, so... There could really be a lot of stuff that we don't know. Ooh. A monster. And... Eel. Which has a 311 defensive rating. Not, mu not much in the way of attack, though. So, which way do we want to defend? I suppose now that we've sent our colony ships down here, we want to send our space factory there as well to defend one of those. Warp points, this one or this one, probably that one. And go say hello to the planet this Thursonia Prime. Primitive race. Hello, what do you like? You researchers, so they might help me. The other guys, they were militarists, so they will probably be able to provide ships and stuff. But they can provide me research, which I will sorely need, since I am a bad, bad scientist. So let's try and make friends with them for sure. Is that another pirate base? Couldn't be an uh, IP, since it's not a planet. So probably would be a pirate base, yes. What's this? Red fungus. Hmm. Okay, I guess this scout checks out the last system up there. And you will check out that planet. And then they'll come down to XUR system. Ooh. A lot of small but very rich mineral planets in all over the place. It's going to be hard to choose where to uh, settle next. Are we doing... Oh yeah, the research lab there, yes. Good, good, good. Colony ship has arrived, you will colonize. We'll skip that, although it's awesome. Automated plants and some research will be good. And we have grown a little bit uh, ahead of schedule. I'm not sure. Still, it is nice. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it, it kind of depends on what we find. 
we don't want to go say hello to the eel because it's a rude eel now let's build ourselves some defenses um hmm we probably just want to build it here i'd love to come down here oh there's a dragon there super here prime yeah no one has settled there yet okay so where do we want to go with that colony ship that we have on the way we could either go just here and settle on one of these two plants to claim the system because it's a good system could go up here to block off the Klagons coming this way and also to coexist in this system with the independent planet also to exploit that asteroid belt I like that idea actually and we could go more aggro and go down here and settle one of these planets there's no connection here unfortunately they popped a new fleet I'm not terribly worried about that so there's no connection there, but there do seem to be a connection here. Uh, I don't like the fact that my frigate is so far from home. Another good system here. I would much prefer to have my scout ships down here and then my frigate nearer to home. In case the Cylon or the Klagons get creative. There's our Xeno relations. Good. Awesome. Now let's go for the uh, Xenobiotics, so that we can get the production center going. Remembering that this one does nothing for us. But this does. And that does. Inferno Transformation, we don't want to do that actually, because... Oh, upgrades Volcanic Planets to Inferno Class. That's actually nice. So uh, Volcanic Planets we can change into our um, favorite uh, biome. This does nothing, but we need the civil transport sooner or later, I guess, even though it's not something that I do a lot, honestly. Do I want to get destroyers first? I suppose I do, because we want to get some um, some bombers going. Oh, does shift work now? No, it doesn't. I can't queue up uh, text with shift. So I have to start engineering and then change to Xenobiotics in three turns. Pirate fleet, that's just you. Oh, I can actually kill that. Let's go ahead and do that. It's even weaker than the other one. Good, good, good. Crash, kill, destroy. That. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. And then you can come there. Good. Nothing at all in that system. Okay. You have spotted a couple of planets here. Nothing out of the ordinary. So this scout, where does he want to go? I guess he'll come down there. Yeah, we have a new frigate coming, oh sorry, a colony ship coming up here. And the question is then, do we have another colony ship? I guess we kind of do. Um, and then have the other planet do frigates or destroyers rather because it has less population and slower growth it does get one more now we're going to do that then that and then some destroyers is the plan you come down and have a look yeah nothing to get excited about now, two plans that I like, taking this system and taking that system. This because it's good, solid production planets with gems and artifacts and stuff. And this one because it puts a cork in the Klagons. How about that one? It's 
not as good. What does a red fungus do? I will forget. It's food, yes. We don't care about food at all. So this one is strategically relevant, both for this, for that, and to put a cork in the clagons. While this is resource, um, is interesting because of the resources. I don't. I do think we have time enough to claim that system before the clagons come all the way in there. So let's go and grab that, and then um, queue up another colony ship after the. Um, the research thing. I guess it's already in the queue. Three turns, then we're going to do a destroyer. Good. You have grown. Good, good, good. And this is our frigate. Kind of needs to make its way home. I guess this way will be quicker. Because there will probably be a, a warp point here. Mm hmm. Oh, that's our scout. Uh, we are nearing the point where the scouts aren't as useful. We may want to discard them fairly soon. Although we have plenty of command points, so I guess they don't uh, they don't hurt us. What's that we get here? We get better laser cannons. Maybe, but I do not want to upgrade. So let's just choose some research, and then we wanted to go to Xenobiotics to finish that quest. And here's our destroyer and a pirate fleet. Nothing to worry about, I guess. So now here we can queue up a destroyer in two turns. You're coming this way. I don't actually have defenses here. How about my... Is that another pirate fleet? It is. A weak one. You have grown. Research, then colony. That's fine. I kind of want to do that. So I use all of these uh, high value cells relatively high value anyway. Let's go ahead and uh, design our destroyer. We're gonna edit the existing one and we are going to put titanium armor, class 1 shields and nuclear drive. That's as good as it gets. Um, drives, yes. Okay, we have no specials. Can I see specials? Special systems. Yes, we can put augmented engines. I don't think I'll do that. More than anything, because uh, it seems to be working kind of awkwardly inside the tactical combat phase, where it suddenly just makes a burst of speed. And that can kind of make uh, uh, certain ships um, go ahead of the line, if not everyone have um, augmented engines. So I don't actually like it a lot. I think it also gives you quicker travel on the strategic map. Yes, travel speed 0.5. But I think the disadvantages outweigh the advantages. Um, can we actually scrap the missiles, please? Like so. And then let's go... I guess the exclamation mark means... Newest attack? I kind of wish there was a pop-up that kind of stated what it means. Let's go hard on... I can drop it anywhere, okay. Let's go hard on the neutron blasters. Oh, I already had those. Drop anywhere to scrap. Okay, that's useful. Um like so and then let's get some anti-missile rockets instead of the point defenses how are we looking for space pretty good so the nuclear missile has a range of 60 
I feel that's been buffed. It wasn't didn't used to be fifty. I'm not sure. But yeah, let's go one more. And can I add more facings? No. Not without reducing. But then I think I'm going to reduce it. Well, I say that I'll probably be the only one with shields here now. So maybe I just want to go. Uh, that's a little bit much. Go like that. And then can I bring an extra missile? Certainly. I can bring seven. Let's go for six and then maybe an extra bomb. No. Screw that. We're going to have a uh, seven then. And that'll be our... I can't remember if they were the raptors, but now they are. Oh, is this a search field? Ship name. Here we go. Uh, raptor. This is just to search for some weapon. Yeah. Alright, that's nice. Raptor class. Done. Good. So, we're going to queue up a raptor here. Do, 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 here we are. Actually put up two because we're gonna need them. Yeah, I don't like this boy. Um are we We should be on the way here. We're not gonna scout these planets because we need to get home and defend our systems against those pirates. Uh, you are starting on the destroyer, that's good, and you have a colony ship next in line, that's also good. So now we get some decent tech from uh, this system, plus two for that research center, I think it is. Awesome. All right, I'm going to take a break here, and when we come back, what are we going to do? We are going to colonize this system, be friends with those guys, hopefully. We're going to complete the quest for the other independent empire over here. And then we're going to settle this very nice production system when we finish our next colony ship. It's going to be awesome. See you then.